Hey, how's it going? I am the Sanguium, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So, we have our storage system now, and, uh, well, we kind of want to fill it up a little bit so that we can get to more base building. And, uh, what better way to do that than to make a prawn suit with a miner drill and take it to the, uh, Cop a mining facility and just over this hill where for some reason there's tons of like mineral deposits just waiting to be drilled so I think we're gonna do that I think that's what we're gonna do and uh, yeah uh, you may have noticed that everything is now sorted now I uh, went out off-camera after the last session and just got a bunch of copper nothing interesting really happened <clears throat> And uh, I went ahead and sorted everything out and emptied the sea truck so that we can uh, put uh, a lot more stuff in it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, despite the number of lockers we have, there's not enough room for everything. And we have like stuff sharing a locker like nickel and sulfur. But that's okay, because how much nickel and sulfur are we really going to get, you know? Like, how much are we really going to need? So, that's how that works. So let's have a quick look-see at what the prawn suit needs. I'm pretty certain it needs aerogel and enameled glass, but let me have a look. Oh, wow, it doesn't need aerogel anymore. In fact, this is... Oh, wow, this is ridiculously cheap. Just, the, like, enameled glass is probably the most complex thing here. In fact, I could probably make... Well, I don't think I have any lead, actually, for the enameled glass. And I, I of course, need the, uh, the table coral. But, yeah, other than that, like, I can make the prawn suit. How about docking module? Advanced wiring kit. I could probably make a advanced wiring kit, and three lead though. Yeah, three lead. Alright, so, that will be the objective. Oh, now, as usual, this, uh, we're probably not going to see a lot of the farming. But we will definitely be looking for a lot of lead. Uh, actually, you know what? I could probably, let's turn this on, I could probably search for it like this. Let's go ahead and activate the Galena crop. That'll make it easier to look for lead. And while I wait for that to uh, uh, load up, I, uh, we can head out and get some table coral. Which, to get table coral, we don't really need the whole thing. Let's go. All right. Grab a bladder fish. <clears throat> and we can go ahead and grab some table coral. Calorie intake recommended. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. I'm inside one of the things. What is this? What is this thing? That's a really weird creature egg. Generic bull. There's a table coral. I need, uh, I think two more. Because the advanced wiring kit also takes a computer chip. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You know what, I might as well go around and grab a bunch of table coral, because I can envision me using more computer chips in the future, like the propulsion cannon, the uh, power cell charger, all that stuff oxygen. requires some computer chips. Oh, is that a Kalina outcrop? No lead, though. Grab you. 
Huh? I can scan? Oh, purple cattail. Oh yeah, that does remind me. There actually was something that I found while looking for copper. While making those signs. There was something I did find. And that something is, uh... Like, I just kind of just took a look at it. New creature discovered. Oh, spinnerfish. And I just took a look at it and then turned tail and ran. Alan said something about it, too. It was nothing really all that important, but later we'll have to go back and actually take a look at it. I didn't want to mess with it any more than I already had so that you guys can take a look at it with me, you know? Uh, grab that, too. I guess that would be a, uh, a locker we could make, uh, like a natural locker, fill it with all the natural stuff, like uh, salt, table coral, uh, seed samples, like with the red spirals and all that, like red spiral plant fibers, root pustules, yeah, we could have like a natural locker. Another blood. Moose fish! No! Moose fish. Get on up out of here. Alright. Oh, yeah. Look at all those outcrops that's been scanned while uh, we were gone. Well, let's get over there. Oh, dude, a Titan Holefish made it over to, uh, the shipwreck here. How's it going, man? Where are your symbiotes? Oh, my God, that derpy-looking face. Oh, I love them. I love them. I wonder if there's a creature egg of Titan Holefish around here. I hope so. I'd love to have a tank with a Titan Hole. That would actually be kind of game-breaking, wouldn't it? Because then... You could just hit, stick a Titan hole fish in your pocket, and whenever you need oxygen in like a deep area, you just pop it out and leave it there. So I guess that wouldn't be a good idea from a game design standpoint. Still would be really cool though. Pocket, uh, just a bunch of pocket oxygen generators. Welcome aboard, Captain. With, like, no cost other than you have to wait for it. So let's make ourselves some water first. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright, and we have a lot of that stuff. Let's put the natural stuff in it. That's a big egg. That's starting to make me think it's a shark squid egg or something. Now, we'll put eggs in there, too. We have one lead already. Let's go ahead and, uh... It's all, it's all the way down there, though. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It's something like this that makes me wonder, would two scanner rooms be worth it? Then you could keep track of, like, like, especially in an area like this. Like, you could have one looking out for the Reaper, I mean, not Reaper, the, the Shadow Leviathan. And you'd have another one looking out for all these minerals. So then you would always be aware of where the Shadow is, because I'm pretty sure the Shadow Leviathan likes to hide from you. <laughs> and surprise you. I think it's, like, really smart. Might as well get a bunch of this. Look at this, though. Oh, man, the music is so creepy. Oh, torpedo arm! We don't have that! Alright, we already have enough 
but let's go ahead and... Oh, a large crystal formation. Morganite. Hmm. But yeah, let's go ahead and just grab a little bit more. Okay. Let's start crafting. We have tons of titanium. So, uh, oh wait, we need ten. We need ten titanium. That's five. We need lithium. Here's the lithium. Four. Put the magnetite away. I said put it away. There we go. I just realized, do we have, we don't have uranium. We don't have a uranium locker. We can put it with the kyanite, I guess. Or the mag, nah, let's put it with the, the kyanite. I mean, what, we, what else are we going to use kyanite for? Hmm. I guess we could expand, extend the lockers another a bit right here. Either way. Actually, we have a titanium ingot lying around. So let's pick that up. Yeah, right here. We have a wiring kit too. Let's let's take that. We'll craft up all the stuff. Uh oh, I just realized something. We totally forgot something. The drill arm and the grappling arm. I mean, we kinda... We kinda need to do that. I mean, I guess we don't need the grappling arm, but... It would certainly make um, getting around far more simple. Did I get more gold? Or did I not get more gold? I have just enough gold. I need copper, though. I did... I... Oh! Kylo Pro oh, wow, interesting. But I need... I need copper. Well, um, 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 and there we go. So, uh, see, we had the copper all along. I just had to look around a little. All right. So now we have the advanced wiring kit. The computer chip, and we now all we need is a power cell, which we have right here. It's a little high on power, though. I wonder if we can just simply switch this out. There we go. Charge that up. Now we have all the materials for that. Let's put away the uranium crystals. Let's let's let's, let's, let's make two more lockers. Let's make two more lockers. A funny thing about prawn is that the uh, drill and grappling arm could be needed. Drill doesn't look too bad. Four diamonds, a lithium, and titanium. That's pretty simple. Grappling arm, though, is an advanced wiring kit. Which, I think we just ran out of gold. But we can make the drill arm right now. We just gotta look at our diamonds, which we have plenty of. Grab some of this. And grab a lithium. And let's run over here and craft it, because I think you gotta craft it in the, uh, the vehicle upgrade console. Here we are. 
So now we have one of those. Now we need to go to the top of the water where the uh, mobile vehicle bay is. <laughs> Whoops! I uh, can't build anything on the ice. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to move that. Let's go ahead and pick pack this up because. We might be able to build the bronze suit on the ice. But definitely not the uh, docking station. Alright, let's put it here. Let's do the docking station first. Uh, here we go. So dramatic. Alright, I'm on the wrong side though. I gotta completely go around it because... Actually, you know what? Let's try something. I'm going to save. And I think we all know what that means. Maybe... No! No! Let go! Let go! Let go! Yep, 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 yep. Still bugged. Well, what are you going to do? I guess I'll just swim around it and ram the rear of my sea truck into it until it connects. Because there's no backup camera either. I need to stop complaining about that. But it's... Like, it was a good feature! It was a great feature! Why did they remove it? I don't get it. But, whatever. So let's go ahead and connect up. Oh, I got it. Okay. Excellent. The long... Long truck now. The truck is complete. I don't think we're going to add anything else to the sea truck. But now it's time... For the prawn. There it goes. I gotta go down there to catch it. Um. Oh wow, it just keeps going. Oh, it's probably fine. Wherever it's going, it's fine. Let's go down there and chase it. In fact, I wonder if we can catch up to it. Ah, it landed. Alright, I wonder, can I back up into it and collect it? I don't know. Let's get in it and see what the depth is, because there's a chance it might not even be able to go down to the base. I didn't even think about that. Thank you. It should... It should work. Let's also give it an upgrade. Did I just get bit? We'll use this. Oh, that's the wrong arm. I have a weapon! Better get out of here. Ah, 
Ah, it's piggybacking. Oh, I love it. It just... I was hoping they would update the screen. Can I not? Jesus Christ, okay, the music. But, uh, I would have thought you'd been able to access the storage compartment from that panel. There's actually nothing on the panel, it's just a blue square. Nevertheless, though, we have our prawn suit. And we even have an upgrade, actually. We have a jet upgrade that we can add. So let's go ahead and do that. Eject. And let's hop in. Is it just me or is the base kind of kicking? Maybe it's just me. Maybe... But it sounded to me like the prawn was really... That was, those were some... Heavy footsteps. Hmm. So now what? Let's see... Ah oh, yes, the, the, the upgrade. Upgrade should be right over here in this locker. Where's the upgrade? Ah, here's the upgrade. It was in here. So now, let's add the upgrade. There we go. Is there any other upgrades we can add? Other than the depth module. What do I mean other than? Wait, we can... We can make this. We can make this depth module. Like, right now. Can't we? Can't we? Can't we make that? Oh, let me check. What do you need to make synthetic fibers? We can make that. We got it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can make this. Got the fiber. And we got the enamel glass. Yeah. We can make the depth module. Huh. See, this is why it pays to have all this storage. As if you need something, you can just make it. Alright, we have a depth module, but what does it take to upgrade it? Let's have a look-see over here at our lovely modification station. Kyanite and nickel ore. We have kyanite. And there's nickel ore, like, right over at the, uh, that area I said I would show. That I ran into. Let's actually look at it on the map. I think we might see it on the map. Alright. Yeah. See this void here? I think this void is the, uh, area I found. Yeah, I think it's right over there. So let's actually go over there and get some nickel ore. Like, why not? Might as well. Alright, I believe it was down this path here. So what do we... Horsepower! This will make it so that the sea truck can go faster with uh, more modules. 
Was this really here the whole time? Well, all right, let's go searching. What? Well, I mean, thank you. All right, got some quartz from a friendly little sea monkey. Somewhere around here is that void. I think it's literally right up ahead. What do we have here? Nothing. Yeah, I think it's down here. Yeah, there it is. And... This. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Interesting. New technology acquired. Ion battery? Oh! I have power cell! That's pretty sweet! Silver ore. Oh wow, I could have brought the prawn with me. So, there we go. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I came back. Ion battery's pretty good. But without an ion cube fabricator, I'm. A little hesitant to just start spending my ion cubes left and right, you know? Until I have confirmed the existence of a ion cube fabricator, there's really... I don't... I'm not really comfortable just spending them left and right. I might make one for the, uh, sea glide, though. Thank you. So, let's uh, head on up out of here with the nickel ore we've collected. Alright, real quick. I didn't forget about this. I believe this is what we uh, just scanned. Well, all right. Architect Storage Media. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media, alt altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We have settled on a popular format for these media, there, though there are some exceptions. This heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaptation, and is easy to fix. In case of Kennedy disaster, in case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provided consistent power supply. However, unique perspectives and traits which arouse from the interplay with the original medium are lost. It's like a factory reset. So, Alan is the factory reset, I assume. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad infinitum, such behavior is considered beyond rude, and any self-respecting architect would resolve such circumstances by immediately deleting themselves. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Captain. So now we have everything we need. Except, except Kyanite. Hey, okay, now we have everything we need to upgrade the depth module even further. Alright, that's the maximum depth module for the prawn suit. So let's go ahead and pop that in there. Eleven hundred meters. Perfect. Very perfect. This thing's really coming together. 
We just need the grappling arm now, which requires benzene. I have not crafted benzene before. What? A flowering sport. That's down in the lily pad area. I think we'll get the grappling arm soon. I mean, what else are we going to do? Let's go ahead and do that. We need a flowering spore, though. I wonder, can we plant that stuff? We do need to explore that area. But there's actually something else I want to explore. I have read up that the, uh, uh, uh what am I thinking of here? The, the alien containment unit I want to get so badly is in that ship, the Mercury 2. However, apparently there's a third piece of it that I missed. And that third piece likely has the containment unit. So I kind of want to go get that. And then once I do get that, on my way back here, I will stop by the, uh, the uh, flowering, like the uh, sea anemone biome, and Emergency. grab some supplies. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie and dig immediately. Not to mention, that is where a body part is. We could probably get a body part there. So if we think about this for a second, that shipwreck is right there. And the Mercury... Too. Like the... like the, I think that might be the middle of the ship. Wait, no, no. That was the thrusters, wasn't it? It's the back of the ship. Uh-oh. So... Wouldn't it be here somewhere? Wouldn't there be a wreck right here? Is there a wreck in the lily pad biome that I don't know about? Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. So this is the main, so this is the main middle part of the ship. Wow. Okay. Let's go in. Saras. I guess I gotta find a way in first. Uh, let's look. Let's have a look around. See what we can find. But man, yeah, this is really out there. This had to have been here for quite a while. Was it the Mercury Two that I lifted off from, and the Mercury is what crashed? No. Is it? No. Look at all these lily pad plants <laughs> growing off it. This had to have been here for a while. Ah, here it is. Here, let me actually turn off the lights. Alright, let's go in. Let's have a look see. Well done. Green Terion. Turnion, I mean. Weird. Oh, prawn suit! Wow, look at that. I guess I'll take the titanium. Oh, PDA. Captain so Badass. So I should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. Oh. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. 
We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. Pirates, the refraction huh? of the beam across the atmosphere? Orion's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is <laughs> not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. So that's clearly the, uh... What was it called? The, the quarantine enforcement platform? Uh-oh, wait. I might be kind of trapped in here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Any oxygen plants? I, I knew I should have saved the reading. Well, I didn't want to forget about it again. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh wow, there's like a little. Oh, there's a cave down here. Huh. Oh, oxygen. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There's a lot of little... Oh. Orbits. Oh, wow. There's a lot of nice stuff down here. I gotta go back to the ship, though. Somehow. Oh, God. How do I get out of here? I went down the stairs, through the hole, up the hole, down around the corner, and here we are. Wow, okay, so this wasn't the ship that I came from. This is a ship from... It had to have been before um, Riley Robinson turned off the quarantine enforcement platform, because this thing seems to have gotten shot down by it, unless it was turned back on, which I can't quite understand why it would be turned back on, without very good reason. Interesting. I bet there will be more clues inside. What do we have here? <gasps> oh! What a find! What a find! We got... We got food now. Wow! That's a hell of a find. Now I think about it, isn't there a planter module, or did that get cut from the game? I, I thought I read something a long time ago about a planter module, so that you could plant, like, your, your Chinese potato plants, your marble melons, your lantern trees, the like. You could just... <gasps> there it is! The alien containment unit! That's what I've been looking for. My EDA. instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? 
Orion's belt. I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is huh. decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. This should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Well, look where your instincts got you, huh? Blowing up. Altera was not supposed to even visit this planet. I think... Uh, Altera, like the, um, I forget the name of the ship, but I always thought the ship was just called the Altera, but Altera is the name of the company, so I'm not really sure what the ship is called. But either way, the, um, the ship is supposed to, uh, was supposed to go somewhere else and build some kind of phase gate, and Using the phase gate, like it, it would go One, to another part of the seconds of oxygen remaining. Another part of the solar system, I think. But I think it was using this planet to like slingshot itself towards its destination, and it got a little too close. It got shot down. Meanwhile, this this spaceship was headed straight for this place. But I wonder which one got here first. Did this one show up first, or was it uh, the Altera ship? I don't know. Is there anything else in here worth getting? Like, story-wise, I mean. Like, the, uh, the other parts of the ships had, like, those parallel processing units. Let's have anything like that. Or is it just goodies? Because I'll take goodies. Chinese potato. That's an exterior grow bed. Why is there an exterior grow bed in, in, in an interior? Explain that. Oh, there's a vent. It's depleted. Cut to access. Fine then, I'll cut to access. A not depleted one. Parallel processing. I probably don't need to open this. Opening this is probably a waste of time. I didn't have to open this. Why am I still opening it? It's probably got a parallel processing unit in there. There it is. Oh, I get titanium. Okay. It was worth it. Still depleted. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Never turned down copper. Well, I can't go over there. Uh-oh. Um. I gotta get the hell out of here. Over there. Oxygen. Nope, I'm fine. Anything over here? Nuclear reactor. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We're getting lots of reactor rods. I'm alive. Step. We're gonna hold off on that until we get back to the sea truck. Oxygen. Um are there this plant oh no you're my only hope please open i replenished somehow warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining cut to access let's do that i'm getting a better feel for the layout now this part Kinda looks like, like the like the docking area. 
warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Or so. I'll take that. The hell was that? Oxygen. I don't know what that noise was. Break notes on that titanium. Let's have a look I'm at this. Right. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and un terribly hot. Then I saw daylight, and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury. Oh, wow. So much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clicked into my sea thinker. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. Uh. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Well, let's hope you actually did wake up. There's a chance you didn't. After all, I don't think I've seen a mention of... Yasmine in any of these other logs. So, I mean, it's pretty much still the exact same story we've seen thus far. Ship gets too close to planet and then gets shot. We'll put the re we'll put the plants in with the reactor rods. That sounds like a good idea. What could go wrong? All right, let's head back in one more time to weed out the, 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 the resources. Well, I have a feeling that that's... I think I've covered most, most of what's in here. What was this room even used for? It's just a hole up to a room that's so flat does nothing. Oh, there's a PDA in there. Did I miss that? Aliens! Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture which means civilization and civilization means da -da -da -da, language oh man and now most of the crew wants to get home I, I understand that but this could be a defining discovery i'm definitely going to put a bug and die in his ear about going to the surface so i can take a team to explore i desperately hope this pans out oh i can't wait till we get into communication range with soul again Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Hmm. All right, got them personal agendas and all that. Got some kids you want to tell, uh, it's your, uh, alien speaking stories to? I get that, I get that. 
Oh, there's a vent here. Where's this go? See fluid intake. Oh, there's a fish in here. Another processing unit. Oh, where's this go? I thought I went outside for a second. Oh, 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 this is the uh, front of the ship. Surely there's a PDA. Yeah, here it is. Alright, we're not gonna re read that yet. We're gonna get to it, though. I love processing. Oh, wow, so you can find all three in this one. That's the vent I came in, I think. Uh, what is this catwalk even for? Where is this even going? I guess it's best not to look too closely at the architecture of this ship. Because it might look cool, but... Some of it don't make sense. O'Brien's belt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. Frigid. And cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But uh... if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. Mm -hmm. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. That's... I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the mercury. Hey man, I understand. Gotta do what you gotta do, but you know, it sucks. But what sucks even more is the fact that I'm fairly certain that you guys didn't make it off the planet and died anyway. Because, I mean, it's meant to keep people from leaving. So, they're definitely not gonna get out of there. Alright, on the way back, let's head over to the architect. Uh, Artifact. Not wait, not that. The uh Oh, it's right down there. Body cache. That's what we want. Let's head on over there, get those flowering spores for uh the benzene. We can make the grappling arm and then I think that'll be it for this episode. Alright, this is the trench. Let us descend. Here we are, the flowering spores. Alright, we do need a number of these. But once again, I wonder, can we plant them? Harvest for advanced material production. It doesn't look like we can plant it. <gasps> Almost got me. It did get me, but it let go really fast for some reason.
Young Cotton. Huh. Interesting. Let's re enter the sea truck. Benzene takes two of these and a ribbon plant. We have enough for six benzene. I don't know how much stuff uses that. Hydrochloric acid uses these young cotton anemones. So we're definitely going to need to cut them up and put them up in the uh, exterior grow bed. So let's find a way down. Yeah, over here. Yeah, look, we'll we'll follow these. Get the uh, next. Uh, we'll get the, the our first body artifact. There are oxygen plants down here. I just missed all of them. Oh, there's a squid shark down here. Body cash, here it is. It's got an oxygen field. And, uh, is that a waterfall? Or a... Wait. There was a barrier here. It just deactivated? No tablets? No nothing? But it was Alan. Whoa! Now that's a statue. Ancient ornamental plant. I like there's some scans point to an incredibly slow cell metabolism backed by carbon dating. Plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifference. The intentional nature of its display amongst other artifacts suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant. I don't know, they don't seem to be the kind of... I never did peg them for the kind of people who uh, was all about aesthetics, but I mean, then again, I mean, just look at this. Can I actually take one? I cannot. Now, where's this body artifact? There's one in here somewhere. Oh, right here, right in front of the, it's a skeleton. A dense synthetic skeletal structure made from an unknown alien components. It's estimated the skeletal material would score 10 on the most, the Moz test for material hardness. It is highly resistant to shattering due to incredibly strong That's impact strength. strength. Forces. I got thrown from my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. Is Aww. this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. Place to reflect. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Oh, like a meditation chamber. Explains why it's so p peaceful. 
Man, that's cool. That's really cool. But now we gotta head out of here and make the grappling arm. Well, well, well. We meet again. The moose fish. I'll hit you. Oh my gosh, no, no, it's, it's, it's all, uh, oh, it's all, oh, it's all recorded. No, no, get this out of here. No, turn that off. All right, we're back. We are back. So now it's time that we make the grappling arm. Pin that. We should have enough resources now. And we finally have our benzene. All right, and now let's go ahead and make the other parts, other bits to make the advanced wiring kit. And now we have everything. So now Make the grappling arm. Wait, I don't want to get in. All right, here we go. That's a grappling arm now. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So we have that now. We just don't really need any other upgrades. We could, I guess we could do a storage module, but why have that? Where we already have more storage on the sea truck, you know? Alright, I think that'll about do it for this episode. We now have the prawn suit, and it is ready to go for resource gathering. And we have an alien containment unit, so when we get some more resources next episode, we can finally expand the base with all the materials we've collected. We will co we will have collected. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And remember, the Wasteland is watching. See ya.